Don't be that athlete. This is not AAU basketball, t-ball, or pop one of football. This is not social media. Look around. Welcome to the real world. At this level, everyone can't be a winner. Some will win and some will lose. But this group right here, you are expected to be a winner. But first, you must define the definition of G, R, O, W. And never forget, first, you must set goals that are realistic, that allows you options to be a winner. Everyone will get the same opportunity. Now what you do with your opportunity is completely up to you. But let me make a suggestion. Don't let your opportunity pass you by like mine did. Recruiters did not come looking for me when I played ball. I had to go out and not only look for them, but I had to prove to them that I am worthy of a scholarship if given another opportunity. When I finally got my opportunity, I never looked back. These coaches and athletic directors are giving you an opportunity to be outstanding and successful. In return, they expect you to excel in the classroom while being a great champion on and off the court or field. That's what I look for as a sports agent. But of course, some athletes were not so great. Don't be that athlete. As a sports agent, I knew an All-American football player. On the football field, he was a beast. On his report card, it showed A's and B's. But when I asked him to read a paragraph in the NCAA Rules and Regulation Guideline book, he could not read. Don't be that athlete. Another athlete I knew who left college early because he struggled trying to maintain a 2.0 GPA just to be eligible to play basketball. He should have been in the NBA right now, but he was too busy accepting free grades. Don't be that athlete that can't read. Don't be that athlete that's looking for someone to give them the answers to the test. Don't be that athlete hiding in the back of the class thinking no one notice you doing nothing. Keep hiding in the back. I promise your grades will show in the front. So when you think someone is helping you, actually they are hurting you. And I know you might not understand yet because you haven't lived life yet. So why not listen to someone who have been where you think you may want to go. And just because you are a student athlete, not athlete student, all eyes will always be on you, whether you like it or not. Are you great? And don't say yes because the person next to you said it and it sounded great. Raise your hand if you are great. And don't raise your hand because the person next to you raised theirs and it looks great. Because we have too many followers. And right now, this world that we live in is in need for a great leader and not someone with a highlight tape who only wants to showcase what they did good and leave out what they did wrong. You don't have to be perfect, but you have to be someone who can lead by example while practicing what you preach on and off the court or field. You won't face adversity during the season, but what's going to separate you from others is how you prepare yourself mentally before the game is even played. Can you be the greatest? Now, we do have some great people. They may not be great all the time. However, they are better than the average. And since I had had the opportunity to meet some of the greatest people, I know exactly how they look and they look just like you and you and you and you. Will you be considered the greatest at whatever it is that your heart desire? Like Michael Phelps, Usain Bolt, Michael Jordan, Wayne Gretzky, Serena Williams, Muhammad Ali, and Oprah Winfrey. These people are considered one of the greatest in their profession. So I need you to prove to me that you are the greatest. You must reach one to teach one. 
so you can become one bigger, stronger, and better. I need to hear it and I need to feel it. Repeat after me. I am the greatest. I will not fail. I will be a leader. I will leave a legacy. My age is no excuse. So ask me why, because I am the greatest.